Hey, it's Angie with News OK. And Becky. And Becky is our Recipe for Health food columnist for The Oklahoma, and she's also a registered dietitian. And we're talking today about how to reduce fat in meals that may usually be pretty fattening. Is that right? That's absolutely true. One of the key recommendations, Angie, for, from the dietary guidelines is to reduce fat, total fat, saturated fat, and trans fats as well. And one of the recipes that people frequently prepare, traditionally prepare when they fix pork chops is fried pork chops yeah. with gravy. Oh. Yeah, and we are gonna look at a way to have a fabulous pork chop. Yeah. It's actually a spinach and feta cheese stuffed pork chop. Yum. Wonderful lower in fat, particularly saturated fat, very and nice. we're just very excited, lower in calories as yeah, well. so it's a great alternative. It absolutely is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, how do we get started? Well, we are going to cook spinach, and this is a 14 ounce package of frozen spinach. Okay. I've uh, thawed it mm -hmm. and drained it, and you don't want to drain it totally dry. Uh, uh, you want to leave a little bit of moisture in there sure. for cooking. Sure. And then I've got a teaspoon of garlic, fresh garlic that I've minced. Okay. And we're going to just stir this and cook this. It needs to cook about four or five minutes. Okay. And so we'll let this cook just until tender. And it's a good idea to keep it moving so that it doesn't stick. We didn't sure. even put oil or anything in right. our skillet. So you don't want it to stick to the bottom. That's right. And so we're going to just let this cook for four or five minutes. Okay. And then uh, while it's cooking, we're going to put our filling together. Oh, okay. Good. All right. Okay, so tell us, this is going to be kind of the stuffing, is that right? Yes, it is. We've got the reduced fat feta cheese. It's made with 2% fat milk. Okay. And the fat-free ricotta cheese, a half a cup. Okay. And sun-dried tomatoes, and these are the dried ones. These are not the ones that are huh. in oil, that are packed in oil. These are just dried. So they these don't are a have better for you. Well, they, yes, they don't have the oil, or they don't have salt. They don't have uh, anything that would add sodium or okay. fat. We're going to mix this up, and then we're going to add our cooked spinach oh, to this. Perfect. And it's ready now. Um, we'll pull this over here, and nice and tender. And we'll add this. Okay. And Angie, you can go ahead and stir that if you want to. And I'll just set our skillet right here. And then we're going to use this to stuff our pork chops. Wow. And we have very lean pork chops. One of the things, okay, I think that's probably good. One of the things that we've done with our pork chops is um, trimmed okay. all the visible fat just as close as we can. Uh -huh. They're lean pork chops to begin with. Uh -huh. And I've just made a slit. Like a little pocket. Like a pocket, exactly. Wow. And we're going to take about a fourth of our stuffing because we've got four sure. pork chops. Sure. And I'm just going to make a little kind of fake divider there so that we can get four equal Makes parts. Makes sense. Makes sense. It's an easy way to do it. We're going to stuff cool. this in here. They're little, they are, they're little That's pockets. That's great. And uh, they're easy beautiful. Way to do it. It's so simple and they're just really pretty. Okay, that's about a fourth of our mixture. So we'll do that with the rest and then we cook them up? And then we're going to brown them in a skillet. Okay. That's exactly right. All right. Okay, so we have all the pork chops stuff. We do. And we're going to use the same skillet. I'm just going to wipe this out with a paper towel. Doesn't matter if there's still a little bit of sure. spinach, but you know there's no reason to dirty another right. skillet that's at great. all. So we've wiped Let's this out. Towel. That's exactly right. I'm going to turn my burner back on okay. and put my oil in. I've got a tablespoon of sure. olive oil, and we are going to use a little bit of oil now. Okay. We'll let this get hot, and then what we're going to do is put our pork chops in brown them on one side, and um, then we'll add a little bit of water to it as, as we go along. Okay, so Angie, what we're going to do, we've got our oil hot now, and we're going to take our pork chops and just put them in. You can hear the sizzle. Yeah. And we'll put all of these in here. And I like to arrange them where the circular side of the pork chop sure. is in the skillet. They just fit a little bit better that way. Okay. And we'll put these in here. And we're going to cook these for three or four minutes just until they brown. Perfect. And uh, then we'll add a little bit of water. We're going to check and see if these are brown yet. Oh, and they are. You can see. Let's turn these. Oh, good. See how nice and golden they are. Yeah. We'll turn each of these. And this one. There we go. Wow. That takes a talent. Well, <laughs> you'll notice the round edges are not in line with the skillet now, but that's okay. Sometimes you just have to turn them over to just to where they fit. Now, what we're going to do 
is add about a half a cup of water okay. we'll add so that it will actually steam. Then we're going to cover them. There we go. Very nice. I'm going to turn the burner down just a little. For about how long does it need to stay? Well, Angie, we're going to cook it for about 10 minutes okay. and then we'll check it. Okay, how are the pork chops looking? Well, we're going to check here. I'm going to take the lid off. Oh, nice. Oh, don't those look just beautiful. Now, I, I can see, Angie, that um, we still have plenty of cooking liquid mm -hmm. in here. And I'm just checking. We don't need to add any more at this point. If it were getting mm -hmm. dried, if there weren't very much liquid left, we'd go ahead and add just a little okay. bit more water. But I'm going to just go ahead and put the lid back on. Okay. And we'll let these cook for about 10 more minutes okay. just to be sure the pork chops are completely done. Perfect. And then we'll be ready to serve. Okay. Here is our beautiful meal. This looks wonderful. Mm -hmm. Okay, tell us what you've paired it with. What we have paired it with, we've got a whole grain rice, uh, which that's one of the other recommendations. We want to increase the yeah. amount of whole grains in our diet. And I've just garnished that with a little bit of roasted pepper. Very nice. And uh, then we've got snow peas with mixed with carrots. Yeah. I like to have a mixed dish with, with this and then a whole grain roll. Oh, very nice. Mm -hmm. And that pork chop looks amazing. Well, oh. it is, absolutely. And we'll let you try it. I know it. Just I know it. <laughs> well, if you want this recipe, just check out the Oklahoman in the life section under Becky Varner's Recipe for Health food column or on newsok.com. Looks amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you, Angie.